Hello everybody, um, so I am showing you how to install a, a battery in a BMW E92 328 uh, 2008 model car. This will likely work for any BMW E90 car. So, uh, the battery is located in the back of the trunk, so right here, and uh, I'm, I'm showing you how you install it and how you also program it. So, uh, it's, uh, so we begin by first putting the hold down. So the removal is the opposite of what I'm gonna be showing you. So I didn't record the removal, but here is the installation, you just go backwards. So the first thing I have gotta do is there is a battery hole down. You can see it's a little bit rustyish, not rusty, but not dirty in there. And that thing right here is a 10 millimeter so you've got to use a 10 millimeter to unbolt it um, and it just comes off very simply um, just keep but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten it first so I'm going to let's see hold on Lock that and that's oh, that's lo locked unlocking and there we go so it's a little bit hard to show it's got a camera, but still. Anyway. I'll show you the tightening bit. Alright, so. Um, the hole down has been tightened. Right? Any more? Just tight. I'm not gonna... You don't need to go too tight. I'm gonna break it. And there's a 10 millimeter bolt. Right here. And that now is tightened. Now, um, so there's a whole bunch of wires to the BMW E90s. A battery uh, so um, it's a little bit finicky so here is the negative power terminal right there and there's a wire that comes out here and then there is there's a positive one right comes out here and then here is also another part of the positive terminal and then um, I've got other little but like a, that is that is actually for something that's just aftermarket radio anyway um, but so what we're gonna do now is I'm going to install the next part that's this thing so this was I when I first took it off I didn't understand how to take it off so I'm gonna show you how to put it on the, the removal is the in the reverse so I I think it's some kind of power distribution unit I don't know exactly what this does but I know how to put it on, on and off okay so I'm gonna put it on now. All right, let's see now. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is actually, I'm going to just, oh, just to let you know, how it locks in and on, there's these tabs, right? And it just snaps on. How you take it off, actually, it's very simple. I didn't figure this out. It's right here. You just sort of like pull on this little thing right here, right there, and it'll come undone. Or you can put like a screwdriver. Here, look. Here's the back side. That's it. And it just snaps on top of the battery. Okay? So I'm going to snap it on the battery now. Remove all these cables. It goes right on top. All right? Watch. So, oh. Right. That's basically it right now. I just put it on top. So there's that. Okay? Now, I'm going to install the various leads to it. So there's a blue wire that comes off like the negative power terminal. See that? You can trace it. It goes to this blue end right here. So it does that. And there's a positive side here. That goes into right about there. So there. That's it. They just lock into place. There's another one right about here. I'm gonna try to not have it dance around too much. And then there's a bolt. 50 newton meters both ways. I'm not going to show you how I tighten the 50 newton meters, but um, you take bolt right here and you install it here. Right. That one, right? And the other one is right about here. It goes on top. So. Before we do that, install that one, I need to install the positive terminal. So, there, take it off. Okay. So, 
So you just undo that one there. You can see it right there, see? So hopefully it shows. Let's put it on top in place. There. Try not to get, oh, one other thing I forgot to mention. There is actually a vent hose right here. Right here, literally, there's a vent hose for the battery. You have to un you have to put take this on and off when you replace the battery. Watch out for that one. So this one goes there. Oh, this is beginning to break a little bit. But right there, there. Get the bolt. Oh, by the way, this bolt is 13 millimeters. It's not 10, so it's a little bit different. Put that, put that there. There, I'll tighten up all that, and then the negative one will just go on the same one, and then it's basically attached. Oops, sorry. So yeah, the negative one will go here. That goes on that side, right there. And then after that, we're all done for the battery installation bit. Uh, and then I'll show you the next part. All I've got to do now is tighten some screws. Um, after this, I will show you how to register the battery. I did want to mention one other thing. There is a battery hold down to it, a, a bracket. That's this thing. So this thing goes essentially right over the battery and it prevents the battery from running around when you're driving. So it's secured by 10 millimeter bolts right there. I just put them back. I always do this whenever I install the batteries or any kind of bolt, I just take them out. I take a bit, whenever I take a bolt, I put it right back inside its original hole, so I don't lose them. So, same thing, I just put them back in, it's not, it's not hard. So, anyway, same thing, put, in the, put the bolts back on, tighten, and then the battery's done. So, tighten, and Oh. There we go. Just good tight. Anyway, that's it. That's the, there's. So if you want to reverse, remove uh, is reversed. Remove these two bolts. Remove that negative cable. This thing opens. This thing opens. Take out the 13 millimeter bolts. They come off. That's that one over there. Opens up. That's a 10 millimeter over there. That comes off. There is a vent tube that needs to be removed. And then there's the hole down that needs to be untightened. Once all, and this comes completely right off. Once it comes completely right off, um, the battery is very heavy. Oh, and then this one comes off by using a little, little screwdriver there. You just pull it out. This thing is like, it's like a clamp. Un it just opens up. There's nothing, it's very easy. And then this battery is very heavy. Um, Watch out, this is, heavy, this is a heavy battery. And then that's it, and then I'll show you how to register the battery. All right, to register the battery, we need to go to the DME, or we have to program the, uh, the car. And so I use this thing called Carly, and um, it's basically uh, BMW specific. Just plug that in, right there. And then uh, you have to use Carly, and I'll show you how to use Carly to, to register the battery. All right, well, this is Carly, and what we do first is we connect to uh, the bottom button. We hit connect, and now the adapter is connecting. So we just gotta wait for the connection. So there we go, still connecting to the car. Now, oh, still connecting. Now it's done connecting. Now we scroll right, and we go to additional features. Go down, go down, 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 and go to battery reset. Click that. So continue, and then register new same ba register new battery. Yeah. Register new battery. Wait a couple of seconds. So we're just doing that. Read type capacity, and now it's doing its reading. All right, and then that's it. Now it's red. So that's basically it. And then what you can do is you can go back and register the same battery and sort of read the history. And then I do that reading battery data, successful. And that should be it. So we have essentially registered the battery, but um, you can uh, 
let's see. I'm, let me see if I can do something else. But you can see the basic wattage capacities and what have you. Um, So I'm going to register the battery and now here's the register and that's it. So that was the registering the battery. So that saved us, I don't know, a whole bunch of money. So thank you.